Hello everyone, this is Mogan Royal. Today we are going to see about the recirculating ball steering mechanism. This mechanism is mostly used for heavy vehicles and longer SUVs. Actually this video is just a continuation from my last video. So here I have created a few more parts to complete the steering assembly of heavy vehicles. Let me show you what are the parts newly added here. Uh, uh, first part is a dragging tube, then ball joint connector. Then we have one more ball joint connector and pitman arm, otherwise we can call it as drop arm. Then a lower ball joint, then upper ball joint, then steering oil uh, gearbox, then we have a uh, frame. The parts which I have shown you, up to this only we are going to give the kinematics joints. For the remaining parts we already done the kinematics. So, Currently we are in assembly design workbench, so I am going to start digital mockup and DMU kinematics. Now I have to switch to digital mockup kinematics. So let me show you what are the joints are available here. For kinematics we should start with the fix. Uh, in this case we already have uh, some joints so we already fixed the axle. So I am going to give rigid. Uh, to the frame so selecting axle then frame I'm giving ok the mechanism can be simulated this pop-up is showing because we have already done kinematic simulation for the wheel lens please do check the description for the video link I'm giving ok then I'm going to give rigid for the frame and then the steering aisle gearbox then ok mechanism can be simulated ok now uh, we are going to give a rowlet for this drop form and then the gearbox uh, steering oil gearbox I'm selecting center axis of the drop form then uh, steering oil uh, center axis I am asking for plane 1 I'm selecting side face of the drop form then for plane 2 I am selecting side face of the gearbox offset only to give angle driven ok Yeah, the degree of freedom is 1 so this mechanism cannot be simulated right now ok here I am going to give a rigid for this drop form and then ball joint ball joint pin then ok for this ball joint pin and this ball joint connector we should give a spherical so for that I am just enabling the point by simply going to settings uncheck the no points then ok here we have a spherical joint option, so I am selecting the spherical joint. And we need to select the point. For point 1, I am selecting the ball joint pin. I am just hiding it. Then I am selecting the point 2. Then OK. I am just unhiding the uh, lower ball joint pin. Okay, then this connector on this tube we need to give a rigid tube and okay. The same thing over here. We need to give a rigid for this draggling tube and then this connector. Then okay. Here we should give a universal joint. Uh, please do check my previous video. I am a friend over there. Why we are going to give a universal here? I am selecting the universal joint, center axis of the pin, then perpendicular axis of the connector, then OK. Here you can see the degree of freedom is changed to 6. So here I am giving the JIT to this pin and then the steering lever, then OK. The mechanism can be simulated and the degree of freedom also is changed to 0. OK. Let me show you how it is going to move I'm just unhiding the points I am just hiding this point ok I am just hiding this connect constraints as well ok now it's quite good to see go to simulation Yeah, I have already set to minus 35 to 40. 
know if it's working fine. Now you can have a good idea about how the commercial vehicle steering systems are working. Okay, I'm just giving reset, then close. Guys, don't forget to check the description for the video link. If you see both the videos, then only you can able to understand the full concept of the steering mechanism. Thank you guys. Thank you for your support. Please do subscribe and share. Thank you.